Peace. I'm your brother Crumb, and you are now watching Crumb TV. Hey, you are now watching Crumb TV. Crumb TV. Hey, we in Chicago, y'all, and y'all watching Crumb TV. It's your brother, Tim Buck, too. I say. You are now watching Crumb TV. You in Scottstown, fine. Jim Inglewood, always up to no good. Man, I'm telling my brother Crumb. You're watching Crumb TV. I'm your only brother, and you are watching Crumb TV. Reporting live from the Wild Hunters, South Side Chicago. And you're now watching Crumb TV. And you're watching Crumb TV. Crumb TV, baby. Hey. Crumb TV. If you could. Please repeat after me. Peace, Ashe, Islam, Namaste, Hotep, Grand Rising, Assalamu alaikum, Walaikum Salam, Bundia, Oseo. Halito, Wagwan, what up though? Konnichiwa, Ni hao. Que pasa? Unjambo, how are the children? Whatever the greeting is in your respective language, I am your humble brother Crumb here for another installation of Crumb TV. You already know what it is, family. This video is called Will Smith and Sean Combs Exposed. I wanted to uh, go over the whole Will Smith, Sean Combs things. Check this out, family. Let me know what you think. And of course, I'm going to talk black to you. If Wendy Williams is lacking in anything, it would be a strong opinion. After all, she's the one who came up with the expression, say it like you mean it, and in a recent interview with Vlad, she did just that. The 48-year-old novelist and talk show host shared her opinions on homosexuality and male rappers that dress secondly in the rap game, especially making sure the audience knows how she feels about Diddy being homosexual as well. To know the details of it all, watch this video through till the end. As per media reports that have recently made rounds on social media sending fans into a frenzy, it has come to light that Wendy Williams owns a picture that involves a man pulling another man's puffy pants down. And well, rumors have it, one of the men might just be Diddy. That's right, of course, one should have something concrete to back something so legit and reputation molding about someone. Which is exactly what Diddy's former bodyguard has done for Wendy Williams, as she is a woman who is known to speak facts with strong evidence. Here's what's happening. Jaguar Wright has been allegedly igniting small fires all over the place and exposing some alleged dirty secrets of some of the biggest names in music, including Diddy and Alicia Keys. The native of Philadelphia doesn't appear to be slowing down. However, as it appears that a new artist is targeted for target practice every day. While a handful has opted to comment, the majority of the artists have chosen to keep silent. However, Wright might have gotten some reassurance from Gene Deal, Diddy's former bodyguard. The former bodyguard addressed Wright's multiple charges on Instagram and provided confirmation for some of them. As per his claims, he states people always sending me stuff, man. They sent me the stuff on Jaguar, right? I salute you, goddess. A lot of stuff you talking is real. And not just this, but he went on to further give more clarity regarding Diddy's homosexuality. He went on to state that he thought he remembered seeing Wright in a bar in Philadelphia many years prior when Puff had instructed R&B musician Music Soulchild to remove that turban off his head. He expresses his gratitude to Wright for what she's doing once again before shifting his attention back to the current situation and responding to her assertion that he was being paid to remain silent. Take a look at how Gene Deal paid his thanks to Wright for taking a brave step forward and spilling the facts as they are. According to him, baby girl, listen to me. Ain't nobody paid Big Gene off. Ain't nobody ran Big Gene off. It's not happening. Never ran and never wills. Never has. From nobody or nomad. Sweetheart, you're wrong about that. So, I've heard you say that twice. Somebody said that to me twice, so I'm just letting you know, baby girl. I don't know you personally. Do you understand? But I respect what you do, but you are wrong when you tell. Unless it's another bodyguard. That ain't Big Jean. You might be speaking about somebody else. You're not speaking about Big Jean. Meanwhile, Deal made an effort to address the allegations against him before continuing in a way that seemed to support some of Wright's as well Wendy's assertions. Deal continued by stating that he had witnessed many things while around his former employer, which had prompted him to begin praying or quoting scripture. Deal then continued by mentioning Mary J. Blige, another performer about whom Jaguar made allegations. In a prior tirade addressed at the I'm Going Down singer, Wright claimed that she had been hiding her taste in women for years while challenging her to a versus combat. 
Meanwhile, Summer Walker spoke out against Wright, but it didn't stop her from doing the same for other entertainers. Wright has further voiced her opposition to Mary J. Blige, the queen of hip-hop soul. By challenging Blige to a versus match and snubbing her talent, she called Blige out on Instagram. She continued by claiming that Blige had been concealing her sexuality for many years. As for what Jaguar has to add about Mary, she says, I can produce my own songs. I can sit down with a competent mix engineer and walk all the way through a mix. I can do those things, Mary, can you? What can you do, Mary, other than playing dress up and eating snatch in dark places hoping nobody finds out? And if I'm lying, sue me, Mary. The former bodyguard also made statements in another video that appear to substantiate Wright's charges on Diddy or at the very least add gasoline to the fire. These statements were made in reference to Diddy's homosexuality making rounds on social media nowadays. Jean then makes multiple references to Diddy's secularly fluid identity throughout the lengthy video, and he also claims that Diddy once brought Exhibit to a gay bar. In addition to that, he recommends making it a personal mission to watch the bad boy CEO engage in activity with other guys. Gene went on to say in his interview, I know that for a fact because I was right there. He said, yo Gene, watch the door that doesn't let nobody come through. I said I'll watch the door and if I watch the door, he and a man ran out naked and I said that ain't nobody told me that. I saw that myself, I'm telling you what I saw. Gene claims in another very disturbing interview that he accompanied Diddy to an exotic bookstore back in the early 2000s while they were both with the music mogul. Gene says this took place while they were both with the music mogul. Similarly, Gene claims that while he was at the store, Diddy purchased a bag full of ST toys for his children. According to him, Diddy bought a number of but PLGS in particular. The events of the story are becoming crazier from here on out, as according to Gene, Diddy brought the merchandise with him to a performance he was performing in North Carolina, as media takeout revealed. Allegedly, when Diddy arrived at the hotel, he told Gene that he wanted to pay fellow rapper Ya Rule a visit at his own residence. Gene was then of course surprised to hear this information. Gene alleges that he tried to prevent Diddy from unexpectedly pulling up to Rule's suite, but Diddy insisted on doing so despite Gene's best efforts. According to Gene, Diddy ended up going into Ya's apartment in the end. Gene made the observation that the room appeared to be empty except for the two males. He additionally says that when he asked Ye about why there were men in the room together, Ya told him, you don't want to walk inside the room, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on inside there. Not to mention, Wendy had a very strong two cents to give as well. According to Wendy, I'm not down with any of that. It wouldn't be my man. Be very clear, there were lots of homosexuals in the 80s too. What's worse? hip-hop wearing skirts or hip-hop being closeted and having a plethora of kids to prove manhood and that, you know, and denial is something that you shouldn't have to deny. There were many situations back in the day, in my career and it's all coming full circle now. So, the real question that lies here is, is Diddy really gay? Well, although many people have hypothesized that the man who was born Sean Combs was gay, he has been in a number of high-profile romantic relationships with women, including the late Kim Porter. These relationships have also resulted in the birth of several children, including Christian Combs, who is also attempting to establish a career in the entertainment industry. Additionally, even while Diddy may not be directly stating that he is gay, it is clear that he is edging closer and closer to making that claim. One of his recent music videos has lyrics expressing, Sometimes I ask myself, like, you know, what is it going to take for me not to be afraid, to be loved the way, like, I really want to be loved, divided by but that I know how I really want to be loved, but I'm, but I'm, like, scared to really, really feel that, you know, it's like you want something, but you don't know if you can handle it, maybe one day I'll get over my fears and I'll receive. And while, the rampant homophobia in hip-hop is not one of the many beneficial things that it has brought to American culture, yet, hip-hop has brought many other things that are positive. Because of the pervasive homophobia in hip-hop, even a so-called enlightened rapper like J. Cole isn't above using anti-gay slurs. And some critics say that homophobia in hip-hop has become normalized, it is challenging for anyone to come out of the closet, even someone as influential as Diddy. My girl Ivory, she said they bought the R. Kelly Diddy. The biggest predators in our community are gonna be the alternative lifestyle predators. They're the biggest ones in jail, they're the biggest ones in the community. They're the biggest ones in government. And Diddy is one of them. Press 666. If you remember the relationship between Diddy and Usher, Usher was 11. If they do R. Kelly Diddy, he's going to go to jail for what he did to Usher. Now, it might be more, but that sexual predator thing, oh yeah, Usher was a victim of that. Family, it's a vicious cycle that Usher is a part of. Usher is now a part of the cycle that Diddy and them started. What Diddy did to Usher when he was a child, Usher did to Aaliyah when she was a child. 
Go listen to the song, R. Kelly and, and Usher, Same Girl. Same girl, same girl. You remember, art imitates life. Songs like uh, Age Ain't Nothing But a Number. Age ain't nothing but a number. Art imitates life. What Diddy did to Usher, Usher did to Justin Bieber. Because Usher's next. A lot of people thought Usher was going to go down with R. Kelly because Usher was doing a lot of that stuff to Aaliyah as well. They ran a train on Aaliyah. Usher, R. Kelly, Dame Dash, Jay-Z. She went around in a circle, head down, booty up. And her uncle knew it. I already did a video. It's on YouTube called Aaliyah Exposed. So this is old news. This whole thing is coming out that Diddy was throwing parties. And he was throwing parties in tandem with Will Smith. Will Smith and Puff Daddy both together organized parties. What type of parties were they, Crumb? They were golf, alpha, Yankee parties. This is military talk. This is all to indict Diddy. But now that Will Smith is being tied into this, now he's clapping back. Yeah, they call them themed parties. Hint, hint, wink, wink. There's a theme to it, golf alpha Yankee. Now Will Smith is being brought into this and he doesn't want to be brought into this, but he helped him throw those parties. Those mansion parties, those yacht parties, those initiation parties. Yo ass wanna get initiated into Hollywood? You gotta go through him. Yo ass wanna get initiated into the music industry? You gotta go through him. Those initiation parties, Will Smith helped throw those parties. Remember, they call Will Smith the black Tom Cruise. After Harvey Weinstein got locked up, Tom Cruise took over as the big dog in Hollywood. He's running things, so on and so forth. He's running Hollywood on the black side. Does anybody remember why Will Smith's first wife divorced him? Go. Let me put some respect on her name. She was the first one to respond. Sources report Will Smith's first wife caught him in bed with another man. That's why she divorced him. I don't care how much money you got. So yeah, there were rumors. Allegedly, Will Smith's first wife caught him in bed with another man. That's why she divorced him. But I've got some more tea I want to sip. Will Smith is firing back. Connection to Diddy.
Facebook and slammed them both for being hypocrites, writing, When Jada comes out as gay and her beard husband admits his first marriage ended when she walked into him servicing his sugar daddy Benny Medina, then I will listen to them. Alexis went on to describe how Will threw a fit on the set of Six Degrees of Separation when he was required by the scene to kiss Anthony Rapp, adding, Gays have enemies. They lurk in gilded closets. Outing is healthy. But interestingly, Jada, who was very outspoken about her Oscars boycott, didn't say a word about Alexis's post. Will also stayed silent on the allegations, and the only person to speak out was Will's first wife, Cherie. Cherie called out Alexis over her malicious and reckless comments, and she claimed that Will isn't and never has been gay. Not only is it out of line, it's absolutely not true. And I'm offended and I'm hurt that someone would be so malicious and, and, and just reckless and destructive and use a lie and an untruth to prove a point. I don't know what you were trying to do, recruit out and Will was straight in 2000, uh, excuse me, 1992 and he's straight in 2016. So, you know, that, that just kind of is what it is. But many fans felt Cherie was protesting a little bit too much because she could have just brushed this off as a silly rumor. However, her strong reply made a lot of people wonder if Alexis had touched a nerve. Meanwhile, rumors about Will being gay continued to mount, and in 2020, actress Tisha Campbell alleged that Will had hooked up with her ex-husband, Dwayne Martin. Tisha posted a photo on her Instagram with the message, The truth always comes out in the end, no matter how hard anyone tries to hide it. And she wrote in a comment, and you're right, they will lie till the end. The real Kiki is, people will stop believing them. After fans noticed Tisha capitalized Will twice, they started speculating that she was alluding to the alleged affair between Will and Dwayne, who were actually close friends. These rumors were further fueled when Star Magazine published a report claiming that Will went on a vacation alone with Dwayne, which infuriated Jada. One insider told the outlet that Will spends significantly more time with Dwayne than he does with Jada and the kids, and claimed that Will and Dwayne went on a vacation in Trinidad together and they definitely looked very close. It was clear Will and Dwayne both arrived and left together, the insider said adding that Jada feels like Will flaunts his relationship with Dwayne in her face, taking him on exotic vacations while she's sitting home alone. And then in September 2020, YouTuber Trisha Paytas posted a video on her channel claiming that Will had forced himself on one of her male dancers. How about worry about your cheating husband my male dancers, you know, when they didn't want to? How about talk about that? Now, Trisha's very controversial, and a lot of people thought she was just stirring the pot. Trisha later admitted she didn't know whether the allegations about Will were 100% true, but she also said she heard this from multiple dancers. Later that same year, comedian Burt Kreischer added more fuel to these rumors when he appeared on Vlad TV and described how he got an offer to audition for Will's company, which led to an awkward meeting with Will. They sit, uh, they sit two chairs in the middle of a dance studio, uh, facing two folding chairs in the middle of a dance studio, facing each other and they're like, we'll be in in a second. I sat with the chair with my back to the door. I didn't know what door he was coming in. And he walked in behind me and I could feel his energy. Bert said Will invited him to go see a movie and his dad warned him that Will probably had other plans. And he liked me. He liked me. He was like, let's go see a movie. I was like, okay. <laughs> you guys went to a movie. I called my dad and I was like, I got in the car. My dad goes, how'd it go? I go, it went great. He was like, uh, really? And I said, yeah, we're going to the movies. <laughs> my dad's like, what? Like, we're going to the movies. And he was like, want a date? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I really didn't ask. Like, I was just needed. And he was like, what do you mean? Like, what, you and him are going to the movies together? I was like, yeah, I guess. And I was like, it's at Planet Hollywood. And he was like, they have a movie theater there? I was like, I, Dad, I don't know. Maybe we'll go get lunch there and no, dinner and then we'll go to the movies. And he was like, oh, buddy. He's trying to f*** <laughs> <down."> <laughs> Bert also went on to talk about how a lot of A-list men in Hollywood have this fantasy of turning young boys. And this brings us to Will's alleged partner in crime, Diddy. Just like Will, Diddy has been the subject of gay rumors for years, but the really disturbing part is the story about Puffy Flavor Camp, where Diddy would allegedly bring his young music protégés. One of these young men is Usher, who was just 14 years old when L.A. Reid sent him to live at Diddy's house. 
And I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn Flavor some... Camp. Yeah, Flavor Camp? Yeah, that's camp. what it was called. It was It was pretty wild. It was, so it nobody was tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't and, say that. Okay. I, I didn't but say you that. Didn't, <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh-huh. And I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh-huh. Usher revealed that he was paid on a daily basis to stay with Diddy. And when he was asked if he'd let his own kids attend Puffy Flavor Camp, he said, hell no. Does he have you doing any chores? Are you doing dishes at all? I mean, to keep you humble somewhat? Or are you just like, can you stay up till four in the morning with them and party? I mean, I could. I yeah. actually stayed up longer than them. <laughs> and, and, what, <laughs> and do you have money? What's going on? I mean, I had like per diem. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, had, I had like, you know, what like a, a living. life. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. 14 years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> hell <don't> no. <laughs> See? But that's not all. In a recently resurfaced interview with Kevin Hart. Flavor Camp. How does that taste in your mouth? Flavor Camp. (laughs) Or maybe y'all are pro-alternative lifestyle. Flavor Camp. I don't know. Just like Diddy mentored or Flavor Camped. (laughs) Usher. Usher Flavor Camped. Justin Bieber. If you understand what I'm saying, can you please press 777? I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. Hey, from day one, we used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, that's how, I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying, before pause was invented. When you and Usher were in the bed and used to wake up together, I mean, pause. What? Hey, from day one, we used to And, and, and once again,
backtrack, he has to be really careful. As for fans' opinions on Will and Diddy's alleged gay parties, a lot of people are saying they wouldn't be surprised if these rumors turn out to be true. One fan commented, All of this is just crazy. I mean, it makes me wonder about a lot of men. Some men have horrible anger issues. Could this be why? I know a guy who had horrible anger issues. He turned out to be gay. So I'm beginning to see how it is now. And another fan added, When you really think about it, Jada could be acting out because of all the stuff she has seen and knows and can't tell all these years. There are secrets and lies bigger than the ones that have been exposed to us. The stuff we see doesn't compare to what we don't see. But what are your thoughts on this? Do you think rumors about Will and Diddy are true? Let us know in the comments. Crumb TV. If you have a YouTube channel, go to your channels right here. It says channels. Go to this tab and add me. I don't even know how you add me. <laughs> but I see people adding me. So, yeah, if you could add me as well, that would be awesome. So, yeah, hit the like button. Hit the uh, comment button. Let me know what you think. And also hit the subscribe button. And, of course, if you want to troll me, family, you already know I throw block parties. So, if you think I got a phobia or something like that, please put it in the comments so I can identify you and block you. <laughs> But uh, if you want to support, then you can always do that. So I want to leave you the exact same way I came to you. I completely agree. Nothing on television on television, or television is coincidental. It's almost always that deep. Yeah, one million percent. I'm, I'm totally with you. Uh, but yeah, with that said, family, uh, I want to leave you, because I do have to go, the exact same way I came to you. I am your humble brother, Crumb, and you are now watching Crumb TV. Crumb TV.